Today we are going to talk about a transit of another big planet after Saturn that is a Jupiter and Jupiter is going to transit in Aries and uh, we are going to talk about yes for Aries ascendant first ascendant let's welcome Akash Johan from Calgary Akash another big planet is going to transit 2023 big planets are transiting this year Luigi big planet is transiting and the transit is of Jupiter Dev Guru Dev Guru Gaspati and it is the best transit ever i will show you for aries ascendant here we go right jupiter is going to transit in the first house the ascendant the mesh rashi and from here we have to understand that saturn has already transited in the 11th house and it is putting its neech drishti on the first house so jupiter coming here takes a lot of this what do you say baggage on itself from saturn it will come and it will say oh this guy is going this girl is going through so many problems let me solve it for him and the second drishti which saturn has put is also on the leo sign and jupiter is also expecting leo with his first drishti so it will try to nullify all the bad effects of saturn if any saturn does not give bad effects i am sorry to say that but it gives you challenges in your life and so it is basically uh, so uh, now let's talk about jupiter in the first house what is the first house the first house is yourself your physical being your body your nature how do you behave your temperament your ego your health your health in a way where you want to what your will power basically to overcome any disease this is your first house your likes your dislikes your opinions your viewpoints is your first house now everything related to this house your opinion will become positive your viewpoints will become positive your ego will become ego will be there because a big planet like this brings ego in you because it looks it is looking at three good places where you are just getting benefits and benefits so you will become a little egoistic but on the other hand you have to be careful because jupiter is sitting in lagna it can give you so much comfort that you will start gaining weight jupiter is the karak of fat all the fat in the body is because of jupiter so you have to be careful i have to be careful as well because i am gaining weight so jupiter here is going to enhance the qualities of this house now the first drishti it looks at the fifth house of creativity the fifth house of the fifth house of it's called the putra bhav right it is the house of creativity it is the house of playfulness it is the house of joy pleasure romance innovation scientist if you are a scientist fifth house should be good with eighth house there should be a relation between fifth and eighth house and you, you become scientist so mostly i have seen scientist leo all the people who are leo lagna their fifth is fifth house is dhanu and eighth house is pisces here jupiter rules rules both of their houses so they become scientists they become researchers because there are two planets which are anyways we'll talk about that in the other ascendant now i don't want to misguide you i want to tell you that here in the fifth house jupiter will enhance your capability to create to innovate to uh, basically to increase your good luck your learning your optimism in fact if your kids if they are going through or they were giving you some trouble now they will fall in place if you are thinking of starting a family this is the right time this one year jupiter is here your nine months you take to conceive here in this one year you make sure that you go for it it is the right time now if you are planning from here jupiter is looking at your Seventh house, the house of your spouse and partners. It is called the Yuvati Bhav, the house of partners, wife or spouse. It can be male, female, husband, wife. It is the house of partnerships, how you deal with, and also it is the house of darker side of your relationship that is extramarital affairs. So if you see Jupiter, it's looking at the fifth house, the house of romance, and here it looks at the seventh house, and because seventh house is ruled by Venus. you have to understand that here there is a chance of cupid hitting the bow 
that means you can fall in love with someone you can fall in love with some other female or male and you have to be very careful because that is the problem which venus will create and your house will be destroyed so here you have to be very careful other than that you have to also make sure that your kidneys and your lumbar region your skin is good because seventh house rules all these things these body parts from there guru is looking at the ninth house from the first house guru is looking at the ninth house with the ninth drishti with the third drishti and what is ninth house the ninth house is your bhagya bhav your dharma sthan the house of truth the house of principles the house of dreams the house of institutions intuitions the house of good karma house of dharma here now this is the time this is the right time to find a guru if you are looking or if you are thinking that no i need some guidance i need a mentor so in in right now earlier in in uh, in our shastras we used to say guru you find a guru where that guru was a mentor someone who guided you in your in a path in the right path in a spiritual path in a professional path but here you need someone who will also guide you to a spiritual path your father your father like figures everyone is ruled by ninth house your good deeds charity luck fortune favors everything is ruled by the ninth house so everything is going to be enhanced you will now become a person of great luck people will want to work with you that oh this guy is lucky i want to work with him whenever i work with him my work is done my work is this i have been praised so people will be very fond of you but that will give you little bit of ego that oh i am the one and earlier i was saying in the other video that ego was the problem not only our manushya problem it was the problem of big big rishi munis they used to get angry they were egoistic that i am the one who has so many siddhis and i can do this i can do that and they used to give shraps but here in this yuga there is no shrap there is nothing so we have to make make sure that we control on ourselves we start believing in god before speaking before making any statement count till 10 just think about your ninth house think about your dharma and see is am i doing it right okay so this is the analysis of your of people who have who have aries ascendant who are aries ascendant and off to you rohit ji your audio is mute mute yes it's okay now yes okay, okay. uh so actually i was listening what you were telling about uh, this aries ascendant people yes it's right to hold the nerves in a good time is very important because uh, you can be egoistic at some time and this is not good at the same time when saturn is also transiting and uh, having a one aspect on your you know ascendant sign so it's very important for you to hold nerves and don't be egoistic and thank you very much and again with the closing remedy one i will tell one you will tell one is om namo bhagavate vasudevaya namo chant this mantra at least and, one mala that is 108 times yeah akash and uh, om namo bhagavate vasudeva will is like a mantra which you can do every minute just on the back of your mind in the subconscious mind keep doing om namo bhagavate vasudevaya other mantra is gayatri mantra the most powerful mantra that is present on you in universe is gayatri mantra chant gayatri mantra every day in the morning as soon as you get up look at your hand chant the gayatri mantra look at your hand and kiss it make right. sure you're telling you're giving a signal to god to the universe that that you want your destiny to rise and so yes. everything will be good for you guys yes very very well said Thank you Akash uh, now we will meet in a next video that is for the Taurus ascendant till then goodbye and uh, be safe and take care of yourself jai shri ram jai hanuman jai shri ram jai hanuman